talking. Before, before, I finished shouting. Telephone rang. And Nini, the staff were looking for me. Come up here. Imagine I'm making noise. Now, Nishawe kwa category drug dealer. Nishawe kwa category drug dealer kwa airport. Imagine. <laughs> because of the luggage, one of the staff came. We are looking for you. Come, come. You guys, Jomo Kenyatta is a mess. Jomo Kenyatta is a mess and something must be done. If, if Kenya want to keep tourists, now anyway, they, 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 they handle wazungus differently as we black people. That is clear. It is very clear that white people are being handled differently. I think local um, domestic tourists should be more important to Kenyan economy than these white people. That is my take. Domestic tourism should be more respected than our wazungu wanakuja, mbili tatu, mbili tatu, nata, they don't even spend the way we black people we spend. Eh? Wazungus don't spend the way we people, we black people we spend. I think we have that money more than even them. And even if they have it, they, they, they don't just spend their money. Oh yeah. Eh? I think Jomo Kenyatta should respect black people and Kenyan people more than they value white people. That is my take. And the same same people discriminating on black Kenyans. Ni weusi. Black like us. Wanafikiri wamefika binguni. Na ndege ikienda. Ndege ikisha pa. Wanabaki. Wanaenda uko umoja. Wanaenda pipeline uko. Mali mali hakuna. Hakuna sunlight. Si, wengi wawa naishi pale sa, nini? Pipeline. Wanafikiri ya tuju. No wonder they are so frustrated. These women working at Jomo Kinyata, they are so frustrated. Kwanza wakiona wanawake wenzao wakienda maju. The attitude, the arrogancy. Hebu mtafute wazungu, mpande ndege. Watafute wazungu. Wakona periods from, from January to December. Wakona periods. Moods. Moods is mooding. Mutu wana kuangalia from mugu to your head. Ni kama amekulipia hiyo ticket. Ni nasomea madame wanafanya jomo kinyata airport. Ni nawasomea kwanza uyu wamenona natembea hivi. And it's ordering around. Hapo kwa Lufthansa. Sijua na itu wanani. Hakona attitude. Ati ananituma ati enda we ulete hand luggage yako. Nilimwambia enda ulete mwenye. Unatuma nani? Nonsense. If you, if you are used to ordering Kenyans. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those Kenyans. You cannot order around them. You have to bring that hand lady. Don't give her boarding pass. You have to give boarding pass. You have to give boarding pass. boarding pass. That is how they bully people. You either do what they want or they delay your flat flight. Next time, I will open my cabin. That is how they behave. White people, they don't treat white people like that. In this 21 century, bado mtu anakunyima boarding pass. Na umelipa ticket, like everybody else. Bado mtu anakuringia boarding pass, na ticket ni yako. Onisikia wapi? Azi anambia mwenzake asinipatie boarding pass. Seriously. Hey, chineke. Chineke, chineke. I was lucky I had the boarding pass already. Otherwise, jana ningebaki Kenya. I swear, ningebaki kwa, kwa, kwa nini kwa airport. 
na ile nduru ningepiga kwa hiyo jomo kinyata ile nduru ningeachilia kwa hiyo airport ile nduru ningepiga i swear hey ningepelekwa madhari ningepelekwa madhari jana kwa hiyo airport ati don't 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 give her boarding pass who are you who are you to order somebody not to give me boarding pass? Do you know how much money I spent on that ticket? I love our Emirates. Kuna kama wanaume mwingine hapo anaka kama watchman. Eh? Ati wanajiita security. Hapa kwa Emirates. Kuna mwingine ako attitude, hajaona nunu for the past 6 months. Ako tu yeye. Ataki kufungua mdomo. Na mwambie si uonge. Ni kama nataka kukupiga nini? Eh? Sijui wako na hamu ya kukuja Europe. Ama wakiona Afrika wenzao wanaenda Europe wanasikia vibaya. Si waende hata Dubai. Eh? Si wanuseko tu, nuseko tu ndege wafikeko Dubai kama wanaona vibaya kwa wale watu and then guys aki jomo kinyata i have so much to talk about mimi i decided to book my own ginene luggage at the emirates musiniulize maswali maswali za hospitali musiniulize mimi si mgonjwa so i walked in very peacefully with my luggage Knowing that I'm going to meet my luggage in Frankfurt. Luggage ahead, again, passenger aside. He was in Guinea. Otherwise, he was. Luggage ahead, passenger aside. That is how I reasoned. Eh? Kwanza kina chine du, chine du, chatil. My brother was Jacoya. Landlord came up with the idea. Sasa vile ukona ticket mbili to, uh, na ukona overweight. <laughs> Tufanyi. <laughs> Chukua lageji moja, peleka emirates. Iende na iyo ticket. <laughs> oh my God. As essence of our lair, lair, lecker. Don't put it there. Bohin. Zote bile, remove them. Bohin. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Five heads together decided we take one luggage with a ticket. Normally, it is possible. In Germany, it is possible. You can go check in your luggage na wende na ndege ingine. Very possible. 100%. Hapa ujerumani. You can go check in your luggage. Yende na we wende na ndege ingine. Bas. Sasa. Sini me check in. Uyo 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 mwanaume amenyonye shapo wati diu dataki kufungua medomo. Nika check in. You know what wana juwa nyako? No what nyako is all about. What wana wako tiktok? Mademu wako tiktok hapu jomo kinyata. They know if you see nyako you have seen 1000 Kenya shillings. If you have seen nyako, 1,000 kenya shillings, lazima itembe kwa mwili. Lazima, watu wananijua. Ukinitaja tu nyako, elfu moja. Hata ujaimadi, nyako, evil. So, there are people who know me. Kwa kisha niona, awanitangi nini mambo mingi. Wakutu nyako, hi, how are you, how are you. Lakini wale wanijui ndi uleta attitude. They don't know who I am. <laughs> Sasa, nika unyesho hapo attitude kidogo, nika ingia. Kuingia, Emirates, you check marangapi, marabiri. There is somebody, there is a, a well, a, a whole grown up man with suit. Controlling, kama ukona visa, ya Dubai. Kama ukona visa, ya Dubai ndio, unapita hapo. <laughs> no, no ginene. <laughs> no step ahead <laughs> if you don't have visa. <laughs> Sasa, <laughs> you guys. Aki, <laughs> okay. history itanikosea. 
mimi sinaga siri lakini mtanyita mtanyita sasa okay so mimi ni mjinga i went with my luggage and the, the first person i'm meeting hapo kwa luggage chalote hello nyako how are you Chalote, unafanya nini hapo? Haji, you know. Chalote anambia, imagine, ah watu wananisumbua. Sijui visa yake ya jamani iko vipi. They took her passport. Sijui wakaenda nayo wapi. Na muuliza wameenda na passport yako wapi? Wameenda nayo sijui wapi. Wananisumbua, wamekataa kuni kuni check in, wanasema hiyo visa hawaijui. I I found her standing there I think 10 or 15 minutes. That, that lady of Emirates was walking around with Charlotte's passport asking questions. Then I asked this man in suit. This one who was no no ginene. No ango. No way ahead. You have to stop here. <laughs> Sophia is calling me. I will call her back. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm good. Mhm. Mm yeah, I will call you back Nikolai. <laughs> yeah, nitakupigia. Eh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I will. Nikimaliza live nakupigia. Yeah, you too, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa wacha nipakue hii ugali. Haki yao watoto wangu. Wacha ni nipakue ni kule. Sasa nyi watu. Si mnajua tu vile mimi wanga mkali. Eh? Mimi sinanga chills and I don't care who you are. I love Nyako. I love you back. Nataka kukula. Speak the truth. Yeah. Sasa mimi siku nini siku I don't know but I didn't um, I didn't produce my German residential permit need to produce wali niuliza can you please show us your visa to dubai nikafungua email nikatafuta nikafungua wakaona wakaniambia you can go sasa nimepita lakini huo dem bado amerudi kwa chalote bado anamsumbua na maswali i was very angry kwa nini wanasumbua huyu mama uko na ticket kama ni visa una ni Dubai wanafaa kukunfanya nini kukuregesha or the counter unaenda kukua checked in ndio wanafaa kuangalia kama una visa ama hauna nikaenda nikamwambia wewe dem kwa nini unasumbua huyu mama ati sijui you know you know nikamwambia you know you know you know hii you know you know you ni mpaka saa ngapi niko na visa ya huyu mama ya kuenda Dubai na visa ndiyo hii i opened my email I looked for Charlotte's visa kwa email yangu. Nikamwambia email pass nini? Visa ndiyo hii ya huyu mama. Ni nini mnazumbua huyu mama? When when they stay, they, they they heard that I'm I'm getting loud. They left Charlotte. Walimwambia enda. 
enda 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 imagine walimwacha sijui kama talota angekuwa peke yake angekaa hapo for how long cause jomo kinyata you can stand there even for three hours and they don't care those girls don't care they can frustrate you so long as you are not white they don't care and they will they will release you last minute wakisikia ndege inatoka and they do it intentionally i'm telling you for free i've been through that shit in mombasa so i know wakiona mu africa na unaka kierere wanakuweka anga side wanakuambia wait ama wanatumia hiyo tactic ya kusema no boarding pass kapo kando and there is nothing you can do about it that is what is going on at jomo kenyatta airport wananyanyasa wa Afrika cause wanajua wa Afrika hawana right and they don't even know their rights mimi ni kurudi jomo kinyata mtu aja anijaribu tena hata hiyo ndege haitatoka Nairobi i promise you hata hiyo ndege it will be grounded i will be the voice of many kenyans suffering at jomo kinyata airport i promise you write it on the wall write it on the wall story bado inaendelea story haijaisha m mm? si tumesha check in bag ya emirates the person of the of the bag amebak m mm? watoto wetu waliniambia twende sasa lufta luftanza bag ime imeenda Haya nyako luftanza luftanza tukaenda tuka check in nikambiwa 2 kg 21000 i said i'm not paying nika reduce my luggage nikatoa suti mbili zile suti niliva parliament nikatoa hizo suti zimebaki Kenya by the way nikatoa haya wakapima tena luggage is okay ikaenda haya I made myself clever nikasema ile samaki na sausage ni, ni hand luggage. Wakamza uko na hand luggage nikasema eh ngapi moja. <laughs> I had to I said one. Kumbe wanani target. They put their eyes well well on Africans. They don't care about white people care. It is none of their business. Si mzungu ni Mungu. Mungu ya Muafrika. Back in Africa. Muzungu ni Mungu. Muzungu anatitiwa kama Mungu. They don't care what these white people carry. Hata kama ni hand luggage tatu, nobody will question. They will be watasukumu watu. Hebu we mu Afrika jaribu hiyo michezo. They will be focused on you. You will not go anywhere, I promise you. Don't even try it in Kenya. You can try it here in Europe. Here in Europe they don't care. In Kenya, don't try that shit. Sasa nikaenda Java. Niliwapiga story ya Java. Tukaenda Java kukula nini? Keko. Na kahawa. Mimi tukaletewa menu, exclusive menu. Ukiona keki ni kama ushaikula tayari. Eh? Menu keko keko ke. imechorwa vizuri. Mimi nikasema hii imechorwa vizuri ndio nataka. And in my brain I knew 100% there is no way Java can have that cake. No way. Not in this normal Kenyan world that I know. No way. Kama coffee yao ndio fake. Hii cake watatoa wapi? I tell that girl, I want this cake. You see this one? I want this one. And coffee. Cuz I'm no problem. I can take in my head. Nilijua hiyo cake. Hata niende nipande Mount Kilimanjaro nirudi. Haiwezi kuja. Akaenda huko akabangaiza. Akarudi akarudi. Excuse me madam. <laughs> I saw it coming. Excuse me madam. <laughs> We don't have this cake. <laughs> Nikamwambia, see your life. See your wewe ni waiter instead of you telling me instantly. Hakuna Unaenda unabangaiza alafu unarudi hadi excuse me madam Ni wewe ndio unlete coffee ikunywe coffee yangu nitoke 
the coffee in java house is not the coffee we used to drink in java java is a place where you used to smell the coffee from a distance before you enter the java java is a scam java is a scam <laughs> restaurant huh? you are looking <laughs> for the smell of Akuna Othire <laughs> Java is a scam <laughs> and I'm stupid <laughs> I even went ahead and bought <laughs> their car <laughs> this is how stupid I am hmm? I even went <laughs> and bought the coffee aina rufu Hakuna Othire, onge. Ni tutajua. Kama itakuwa mbaya sana tutatupa. Bas. Tuka kunywa kofi. Tuka maliza. Tuka enda wapi. Tuka rudi. Nika pata line ndefu. Ni kama inaenda binguni. Line rafu. Imejana wazungu tupu. Mimi unajua nilisha check in. Sasa nauliza hii line ni ya nini? Hii line ina kama ya kwenda binguni. Ni ya kwenda wapi? Nikaambiwa this is this is Qatar Airlines. Qatar ubeba? Hii hii ni hii ni watu ya Qatar. Hai. Hii watu yote ni ya. <laughs> Misungu yote inapanda Qatar. Sijui Qatar inaenda wapi? Sijui wanaenda ku connect huko mbele I don't know. Sasa, because I am the president of TikTok, walini, <laughs> nilikatiwa line. Kwa <laughs> zile line, ninge ipang, ninge kosa ndege yangu. Nikakatiwa line. There are some two, ginene, some two army people. Wameva army, army hivi. Na wanajua sifaya nyako. You talk to nyako, you get your 1,000 Kenya shillings. Utapanda na ugali, ukirudi kwako. Se nyako? We want to help you. Come. Let me see go. Haya. Nika pitishua, nika pitishua. Nika ingia. Si mini nisha check in. Minaenda direct. Ku check in my passport. Pale una, unatoa glasses. Unapigua camera. Unambiwa weka fingerprint. P fingerprint inasomua na computer. Weka thumb. Inasomua na computer. Hapo. Hapo mademu wakanikona. Wakambia. So top. I'm like, where? Kumbe hao mdemu, they target black people. They don't care about white people. They target who? Mwafrika mwenzao. Na wana frustrate Kenyans wenzao wenye wana farm just to look away and say, Jamani, uyu ni mkenya mwenzangu. Let me just let her go. I don't know her journey. I don't know her story. I don't know why this woman akona two small handbags. Pengine amebeba kitu ya muhimu. Ataitaji badai. No. You are black. You are Kenyan. You don't deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. And the other bag, you must pay for it or you leave it behind. I swear. Wazungu walikuwa wanapita na handbags mbili mbili. Nobody cared. Nobody. I wish I took a picture. Nige waonyesha. Mzungu wakona bag mbili. Hakuna mtu anauliza swali. I went to the counter with my two small handbags. I made sure ziko size ya hand luggage. Ndogo. Nikarudi kwa counter. Alafu huyo madamu wa matako kubwa kubwa kaitu. Hakona over over. Hamekuja wana over. Hakasimama hapo. She started asking questions. Maswali kama za wagonjwa. Siju kama ili, ili ilikuwa ni osipitani. Akasimama hapo kama. Ni kama yendio. Chief of I don't know what, what, what. Wanava uniform za blue. Akasimama hapo. Anaanza kuniangalia from, from my legs to my head. Na hiyo over, over yake. Ameishika hivi. And there were two girls giggling. 
in front of me hapo kwa computer unajua wameni trick hii hand luggage yako tunaenda kukubebea for free but when i reach the counter they said you must pay you have to pay alafu mwingine ni mjinga na anaita ati nyako ati nyako come and i i i tell you sir you tell me what eh what is this story you must pay i have to pay nikamuliza how much cuz i didn't want to discuss i've been discussing at the jomo kinyata for for too long i can't discuss anymore with this girls nilimuliza ni pesa ngapi akaniambia 15000 nikamwambia 15000 nikafungua bag nikamtolea pesa nikamwambia there is the money check in the bag i want to leave then they started looking at each other and giggling again and this officer with over over was standing there and was asking questions and asking the girls does she have another handbag does she have another one and the girls are saying yes 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 she have another one where is it at yuko huko nyuma ameacha huko nyuma unajua hiyo ni bag ya sausage na bag yangu ya sausage hauwezi chezea cuz bag yangu ya sausage i pity soul ya wajerumani cuz inaenda ku, it is going to be discarded so fort hapo na hapo I went to Peter Sol at an hour. Ata upige enyingu won ngapi? Bag ya sausage ya Yezi Peter Sol ya Wajerumani. It is not allowed. Na unajua nini? They were discussing about you bag iko na sausage. Ati she has another one. And this lady was Can you bring it? Go and bring the other one. And I'm like, "What? Go and bring the other one." And the other one was 20 kilo. My hand luggage was 20 kilo. <laughs> nikamwambia Mimi nataka mpaka hiyo nyingine. Hiyo nyingine iko na unga ya uji. Kama ni za unga ya uji mnataka, mniambie nitoe, niwache hapa. Lakini bag yangu hakuna mtu anaguza. Hata mimi nikatoa ukali. Akaniambia, "Can you go and bring the other one?" Nikamwambia, "Go and bring it yourself." Just walk and bring it yourself. Na ndio uone wazimu yangu imefika wapi na sausage zangu kwa hiyo bag. The lady saw that kuna tukutakuwa na wao when it comes to my sausages leave me alone akajifanya ni kama jauliza hiyo bag ingine then we went ahead with this one hii imebeba samaki samaki ya dunga samaki kutoka kisumu nimepigiwa 15000 nikamwambia i can pay here is the money we don't take cash then they insisted can you give us your bank card Nikamwambia my bank card does not work in Kenya. They say just bring it. We have a German system. It will go. Nikamwambia watu, my card does not work in Kenya. Just give us. We have a German system. I say you have German system. No problem. I removed my German card. I gave it to them. Pay beep and ika pin. And the, the the system was talking German by the way. It was speaking German. Nika nikaingiza pin refused they said no 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 let us set it again they set the, the machine again bring the card nikaingiza German card no work in Kenya airport i swear wakasema no 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 this cannot be true they tried the third time i told these people my German card does not work in Kenya wakaona ni kama ninawacheze they tried for the third time it refused so nilibaki na option gani kupeana cash nimeweka hapo 100 euro nikwambia pesa ndio hiyo check in the bag we don't take cash why you don't take cash hapa ni airport you have asked me for the money the mode of payment doesn't matter what matters is i have paid for it They refused to take the cash. They refused. Mimi I was left with no option but to call my brother. Brother ngo alikuwa shaenda kwake. I had to call my brother back to the airport. That is the beginning of my drama at Jomo Kenyatta. Bag imebaki na samaki na mkate na super loaf. Bag yangu ya super loaf na fish 
fish nilinunua 30,000 Kenya shillings ilibaki kwa airport kidogo kidogo napata simu from where from Charlot Charlot ambia nyako bag yako inashukishwa why because they are saying you are not there so <laughs> bag inashukishwa I was literally sweating. <laughs> Emirates. Emirates. Lufthansa. <laughs> I'm like, really? I. Sasa nika kwa confused. Samaki me back. Hili baginkin. Ime sukishwa. When you are trying to be intelligent. And at the end of it, you find out that you are the most stupid person in the world. <laughs> but the drama started there, 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 there. <laughs> I called my brother. Hello? Chachin? Rudy. Rudy, 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 Rudy. Rudy, mizigo yangu imeshukishwa Emirates. Na mizigo ya samaki check in. They don't take cash. So come back and take my luggage. I thought it was that easy. To just take back your luggage, put it in your car, and drive off. It was the beginning of my drama at Jomo Kinyata Airport. Because of what? I went. I, I was already at the Lufthansa. Checking in. Sweating. Because I already dressed... Nini modia winter. I was in winter clothes already. Eh? Mimi akiliangu ni kwa inagonga Frankfurt. In my head, I was already in Frankfurt. In winter. I was not in Kenya. Sasa ni me sweat. Na polo neck ni me sweat. <laughs> ni kwapo kwa lunch. Wazungu wote wana niangalia. Ni me piga nduru. Eh? Ni me piga kelele. Ni... Wazungu wote wana niangalia. <laughs> I was... This Lufthansa women, you are going to hear me tomorrow at TikTok. And tuna na kuta na TikTok. This Lufthansa and they, all of them were looking at me. Hakane nika wambia nyinyi. Kesho, dawa yenu TikTok. All white people. White people are looking for. Go and take it from my, my touch. Eh? <laughs> before, before, I finished shouting. Telephone rang. And nini, the staff were looking for me. Kuna pia, imagine I'm making noise. Na nishaweke kwa kategoria drug dealer. Nishaweke kwa kwa kategoria drug dealer kwa airport. Imagine. <laughs> because of the luggage, one of the staff came. We are looking for you. Come, come. In fact, walikuwa na right ya kuni stop from traveling back to Germany. Because they came and they were like, it is very suspicious. How come you have two tickets? How come one bag is traveling ahead of you? And you, you are traveling with the other airplane. How come it looks suspicious? Can you explain? They brought a Nigerian. A Nigerian man with Max up. That is how I knew this guy is a Nigerian. And the guy was standing there like a drug dealer. A drug police. They are reading your, 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 your body movement. If you are having drugs or not. If, what is your intention? Why, are you why did you leave the other back? And you, you take a plane this side. And I was like, it was not a big deal. Nilikuwa na ticket mbili. Na luggage ilikuwa mingi. Sasa mimi nikajijazia. Tike iyo tike tingine, iende na lage jingine, na iyo tike tingine, iende na lage jingine. At the end of the day, I will still meet my luggage. <laughs> and they were like, it doesn't work that way. No. Give us a, uh, give us a good explanation. I, I was like, are you suspecting me? Are you serious? You are suspecting me? To, to be doing what? Mimi ato sezi uzia mtu piriton. But you know, normally, uh, you know, 
I was so disgusted. How can a, a Nigerian, a foreigner, dare me in my own country asking me bullshit about my own luggage? Are you Kenyans out of your mind? Are you Kenyans serious? This is how I got harassed last night at Jomo Kenyatta Airport. And there were more staff coming from all over and questioning me why the other luggage is going with the Emirates and me, I'm going with the Lufthansa. It was such a big deal. And I was like, guys, why don't you check this bag, Kamaikuna drugs, or anything that is not allowed? Then you come and question me for heaven's sake. What is all this bullshit? What is all this bullshit? Kuna, there is a staff that realized I'm being harassed. And he came to rescue me. A man, I remember, he came and asked this Nigerian, now what is your take? Now that you are asking this woman one million questions and she has answered, now tell us your take. Tell her your take. They wanted to stop Lufthansa from flying in the sky because I checked another bag with a different airline and I'm traveling with an, another airline while Kenyan airport wakona dogs za kunusa drugs, wakona machines za kupima drugs, wakona all that bullshit, kupima drugs, kama umebeba, bado wana kuharas, umeenda kupanda ndege nyingine, bado wana kufuata huko. I was disgusted yesterday. I was very disgusted. At the staff at the Jomo Kenyatta, I was very disgusted. I'm not pausing. I'm talking. You, Kaziakoni, you listen. So, after that, they sent my brother with a piece of paper. I should write a letter to the Emirates staff to state why I left the bag and who should be picking it and why it should be picked. I write the letter. I signed it. I gave it to the staff. They took the letter, but still, it was not enough. The bag was held. My brother was harassed at the Jomo Kenyatta airport, and the bag was not released. Wali bakina yo bag. And my brother was telling me, because they wanted to, 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 to ground the whole airplane at Jomo Kenyatta, because I checked in a simple bag with t-shirts inside and a pair of shoes on another, on another plane headed to Frankfurt with my name on it. Ata kama ingekuwa na drugs, bado German police wangenipata. Hapa hapa ujerumani. Iyo bag ingekuwa na drugs, bado ningepatikana. Ju, I checked it in with my own details, with my own name. And in my brain... I thought it was that simple. Once you check bag, and you can yako, bado watakupata. No, ma no matter where you run to, they will still find you. Eh? So the bag was held. My brother told me, the staff at Jomo Kenyatta, they, you cannot explain yourself because they are too bossy and they own the place and they are so arrogant and they feel so entitled, they don't listen. No matter what you tell them, they, they don't. And this is how they treat Africans. This is how they treat Kenyans kwa ground. They, white people don't go through that shit. It is us black, us Kenyans who go through that shit. And by the way, you guys, Bradangu cooled down, waited to, for the airplane to go in air. They refused to give her the, him the bag. Mimi nilikuja Germany. And when I arrived with, in Germany, no policeman checked my bag. Strangely, I'm a foreigner. I'm entering as an immigrant in a foreign country. No policeman stopped me at the German International Airport 
kuniuliza maswali za ujinga, maswali za clinic. Why are we Kenyans being treated the way we are being treated back at home? That is my question. Why? What is so special at the Jomo Kenyatta airport that we have to be treated the way I was treated? That is my question. Germany is amongst the richest countries in the world. And nobody asked me a question when I arrived in this country. Nobody. So tell me, what is the difference? What is the difference? Something is wrong in Kenya and must be addressed. We as Kenyan citizens, we cannot allow this to go on. We want to be respected back at home because we pay, we pay tax. The money I carried in my phone, Kenya which means I brought some business to my own country. We demand, we don't request. We want to be treated better. We will make a movement. Anybody we will invite those people to tell their story. If they treat you badly and they treat a muzungu better than you, we will give you guys platform. You come and tell your story. Yes, it is not fair. We get treated like trash back at home where we should be respected. And the white people, they even treat us better than our own people. Tofauti kwaabi. So guys, we have a bond to chew with Jomo Kenyatta Airport. I don't care. We have things to address about our own country. Because we cannot allow Kenya to treat us the way they are treating us. We can't allow this. And white people get away. White people, tangu za ukoloni, they get treated like queens and kings. Ata machokora za, za Europe. Bora wewe ni mzungu. Hata kama unanuka nguro. It is not fair. It is not fair. And Kenya is the least that should treat its own people like trash. After what we, we went through. After colonization. Kenya should be the last to treat Kenyans the way they do. Our forefathers fought for our freedom. Raila Malodinga is among those people who fought for our freedom. That is still alive to date. Raila must address this issue. We want our freedom back. We want our freedom back. We want to be respected. Kenya belongs to black people, not white. Quiet.